Now, how did you guys first meet up? I'm going to ask you to pull your mics a little closer if you can when we talk here. Well, um, it was through a journalist called... Uh, Billy Shepard. Billy Shepard, uh, who we Cincinnati. both known for a long time, and he knew both our music, and we were... I was chatting way too him, and he said, yeah, you know, have you heard this guy, Kevin Cassidy? And I hadn't, and uh, he said, I think you're going to really like what he does, so he sent me a couple of MP3s, and I thought it was fantastic, and we got in touch from there, and... and took it from there. My goodness. And and uh, you actually had lived in Boston as well as England for a while? I did, yeah. I, um, I actually lived in Boston for uh, quite a while when I was younger. When I was a, a kid, I grew up in outside Boston. And then I lived in England before that and then went back to England and I've been there ever since. And Kevin, you you are based in, in the uh, Boston area, aren't you? Um, and you've uh, been teaching there for a while, performing at many, uh, many venues, and uh, you've just put out uh, your second collaboration with Mark here. Uh, That's right. An Illustrated Silence is what it's called. And, uh, and I have to say, your, your previous collaboration, I Walked Into the Silver Darkness, uh, was one of my favorite albums when it came out. Oh, thanks. The year Thank before you. last, and uh, what what sort of uh, what's your your basic approach to this collaboration? How do you uh, come up with ideas for what you want to do? Well, Mark and I are both um, composers as well as guitarists. We've written pieces for you know, chamber groups and or orchestral sized groups, and I think we're both coming at it from a, a composer's point of view and we kind of bring that sensibility with us so we're we're kind of coming from the same place and and um, that gives us uh, an awful lot of commonality which is a really strong place from which to begin a collaboration mm -hmm. and uh, and you also do a lot of uh, playing with uh, a group of your own you have uh, have several albums out um, I do yeah um, I just, I've just released one just before Kevin and, and my album called uh, Cinema Obscura, which has Ian Bellamy, who's a fantastic saxophonist, and René von Grunig, who's a really amazing uh, soundscaper keyboardist, and uh, some of the great guys, Jaron Stavi and Andy Motz on drums. Uh, yeah. Is that more straight-ahead jazz? I haven't heard it yet. Uh, I'll give you a copy. No, I wouldn't say it was. Um, it's or, or jazz in the sense of what we're hearing today. Yeah, I guess you would say that because it's, you know, it's a full band and, it's, and the pieces are, are a lot more composed beforehand as opposed to you know, what we're doing now. Um, and it's tune-based, um, but there's lots of improvising. And that one's quite... Um, it's called Cinema Obscura because the idea was to kind of make a sort of cinema, visual cinema in sound. Well, that was our, our aim. So there's lots of kind of interesting places it goes and soundscapes and atmospheres and things. So. Lovely. This hmm. year alone, how many albums have you put out? Is it, it's at least four that I'm remembering. It's four. Very good. Thank right. you. Right. Um, yeah. Because there was uh, the one with Carl Clements, right. and you two played earlier this year. We did. And um, then there was the, the trio album with um, uh, Sander Zabo. Am I pronouncing that right? Right, Sander Zabo and Balaj Major. Right. And then um, and Michael Manring, right. the jazz bassist, uh, also did a collaboration with you. And now this latest one, An Illustrated Silence. I'm not sure what you saw on my website. So I know there's lots of visual stuff on ah, there. Ah, yes. No, it just says there are there. videos, and and uh, I like the way it's presented because it's, you know, it's presented as a video page or, or page with photographs, but links to click that have embedded objects mm. in them, which is a nice nice way to discover things. So there's things like uh, escape strategy and London Lumiere, or you're live at the London Lumiere. Oh yeah, there's, there's and, quite a few uh, live videos up there, yeah. Yeah, so so quite a few things there, and there's some interview clips as well. Yeah, loads more to come actually, that are gonna be coming up in the next, going up there in the next uh, couple of weeks. Right, and Kevin has a lot of, uh, a lot of writing on there, um, a lot of uh, descriptions of uh, some of the work that you've done, and uh, you do some teaching. 
um, where might one uh, track you down for that through the through the website yeah absolutely I mean I, I do teach privately and I do um, lots of master classes and workshops and things and they are at different times and but yeah the website's definitely the place to, to go for that and I was thinking maybe we have time for one more do you want to do that or shall we play something from CD that's your choice happy to play another sure yeah. Yeah.